So yesterday was my first day wheeling with the hood vents and the Thor intake. So after I got done wheeling, um, took it to the car wash because I hate mud. I did get dirt right here from the vents, of course, because they go straight down. But besides that, I really haven't seen much. This side, I did do the trail head off road intake, so really doesn't matter what I got here because it's, it's empty. Today, I will be installing a heat wrap on the intake. I seen it on another video, I forgot which um, YouTuber did it, but they put uh, the heat wrap on it, so I'm gonna try. I want more thread because everything I do on this Jeep, I go with red, so I'll um, post an update. This is about after a week of daily driving it and two off-road trips, one small, one big, full of dust around. It's not really bad. So here's the final product of the, the heat wrap. Now I've, I've never done this before. That's why I didn't record it. I just went around, wet it. I've seen a few other people, they wet theirs before. And yeah, turned out good to me. I'm about to install it, but before I do, I found this and I'll probably uh, post a picture of the part number, but since this gets close to the oil cap, they, uh, on the website for the Thor intake, they have the part number for this. I'll post it just to make it easier for you guys. I'm about to install this real quick. All right. I guess that's what the square's for. Don't want to do it too tight. That's good enough. There we go. No, by the way, um, I went to AutoZone a while back. I was doing some maintenance and I bought a high heat paint because I thought I needed a high heat paint for my valve cover. So I bought the red. Well, after I laid a few coats down, I realized that it was orange and I said, fuck it. I just left it. So my valve cover is orange. So it's pretty much on. I just got to connect the, the hose and clamp this. But one thing, if you're looking into this kit, remember that it is close to the oil cap. That's why I installed this. But to change your oil or add oil, just undo this clamp that goes to the throttle body and you can just spin it. So it's not too hard, it's one extra step, but it's not bad. I think it's worth it. And there it is. It wasn't too bad. I mean, I'm not the best, but hey, hopefully it works.